I'm Lucy and welcome back to my channel. Today is the 15th of April 2023 and my boyfriend and I are off to board p and Cruises Iona in Southampton. We are heading to the Norwegian Fjords for a week and we are stopping at Stavanger, Olden, Alisund and Haugesund. Last night we stayed in a Premier Inn in Eastleigh which is about a 20 minute drive from the port and it makes it a lot cheaper than staying near the port. We booked a package which was the broom, breakfast and dinner and it cost £116 for the both of us. Although we booked the package there was a couple of upgrades that we made so we got the sharing platter and some different alcoholic drinks and we only paid an extra £13. We are now all packed and ready to go so come with us. When we booked the cruise, we picked the select fare and chose the car park option. The parking was done with CPS and is really straightforward. If you also pick this option, you will need to stay in the lane for CPS parking. There was a short queue of cars that we were told to follow and then you get put into separate lanes. In each lane, they have about 10 cars being dealt with at once. Each car has a designated member of staff who will take your keys and give you a ticket with a barcode to collect your keys at the end of the cruise. So we've taken the suitcases out of the car, crossed the road, and we are deck nine, so this is where we are dropping off our luggage. We are now headed up the gangway onto the ship. That was very quick security, and it only took about 20 minutes. And it was very well organised, so yeah, very impressed, well done. And the muster station is the place you go to if the ship alarm goes off. <laughs> no, you don't do like that. I'll be doing a video on our specific cabin with pros, cons and a room tour. So although we've already been to our muster station, once you're in your cabin, you have to watch the safety video in there. We bought our drinks package in advance, so we're just activating that in at Anderson's bar. Mmm, fish and chips in the keys. Our first drinks that I didn't video were in the sunset bar on deck eight. Our second drink. Cheers. Goodbye, Sky Princess. Hope you have wonderful and safe travels. Back to the keys for dinner for burger and chips and chicken and chips. Sail away vibes. Goodbye Southampton. See you in a week. But I wish it was longer. We're just waiting for the show in the Sky Dome to start, which is called Spark. So the show in the Sky Dome was really good and we're just having a drink and trying our luck in the casino. Next, we're watching a show in the headliners theatre called Sky's the Limit. That has to be one of the best shows to see and you have to go see it. This is the worst passion fruit martini I've ever tasted, but at least the music is good in the clubhouse. We are now off to bed and tomorrow is a sea day. Good morning. Excuse the state of feet. It's day two. We're at sea. 
and I am off to the spa for a massage. I'm quiet because it's pretty early in the morning. There's nobody here at this time of the morning, it's about half past seven. Just been brought to the relaxation room to fill out a questionnaire beforehand. That massage was really relaxing, however, there was some intense selling afterwards that was a bit pressuring that I didn't like. Lunch time in the buffet, time for a game show in the theatre. We both really enjoyed the game show, just watching the waves go by, chilling out, and probably having a little nap. It was then time to get ready for celebration night and we ate in one of the main dining rooms. We booked it through the virtual queue and it took no more than five minutes for our table to be ready. So because it's celebration night, you get a five course dinner instead of the normal three. Let me know in the comments what you would have. And we've also got an almost window view. So I have gone for the beef sirloin. Mark's gone for the lobster and king prawn something and he's got cheese board for dessert with a proper stinky cheese and I've got the hazelnut and biscuit dessert which looks blooming lovely Yes, get in, I think that might be us done for tonight now Thank you for watching part one of my P&O Iona Norwegian Fjords vlog Please like and subscribe and head over to my Instagram Travel Life with Lucy to see more content. Stay tuned to see what we get up to next in Stavanger. See you soon!